Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is a prophecy for Rachel. So how this prophecy came about was that uh, Rachel uh, watches me on the internet, and uh, she, um, she uh, uh, commented on um, my videos uh, before on a prophecy, and uh, she went to my website and requested a prophecy of uh, uh, Nicola, one of the uh, women on my website, prophetess, and uh, she gave her uh, double the amount uh, that uh, you normally have to give, uh, donate uh, to request a prophecy. And uh, I was just talking to Nicola and uh, how blessed she was uh, by your uh, $80, Rachel, uh, that I said, well, I'll do a bonus. Uh, I'll do, you know, you do a prophecy for Rachel and I'll do a bonus uh, prophecy for her. So, Rachel, uh, you'll find out uh, that this prophecy is for you and uh, I um, will, um, I'll do a prophecy for you and uh, hope uh, that you're, you're blessed. So everyone that's watching, uh, you can comment down below uh, after the video uh, if you're happy uh, with uh, what has uh, uh, been said and, uh, and uh, Rachel, uh, uh, I'll get ready and uh, prophesy over you. So, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I pray, uh, dear Father, I pray that uh, you give me a word for Rachel, a word to bless her, encourage her, and lift her spirits up. In Jesus' name, I ask, amen. Um, I, see, um, I see a fountain, and uh, it's a fountain uh, that I see often. Uh, it's in heaven, uh, and uh, it's a portal to heaven. And... Uh, there's a couple of things uh, that uh, the Lord wants to tell me uh, because of that fountain. First of all, uh, he wants to open up your eyes and, uh, and take you to heaven. Uh, I'm not sure if you've been to heaven already, but I feel that uh, the Lord wants to open up your spiritual eyes and uh, have you visiting heaven, have heaven visiting you. Um, I've got a book called Walking Under an Open Heaven. And uh, hopefully, uh, if you read that in uh, my book, uh, My Visits to Heaven, Lessons Learned, if you read those two books, hopefully, uh, in My Visits to Heaven, Lessons Learned, you can have your eyes opened up and uh, visit heaven. But uh, if, you, if you read uh, 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 Walking Under an Open Heaven and My Visits to Heaven, Lessons Learned, and uh, you don't have your eyes open up, uh, you're welcome uh, to contact me on Facebook and uh, have uh, a Zoom meeting, download Zoom uh, and, uh, and have uh, face to face uh, talk with me and uh, I uh, can help you get your eyes open. So first of all, I said the fountain to tell me that, uh, to tell you that, uh, to remind you of that, uh, you know, to uh, inspire me to say that. So that's something that the Lord wants for you. He wants to open up uh, your spiritual eyes. He wants you having encounters uh, with himself, uh, with Jesus, uh, with uh, saints, with angels. Uh, he wants to really open up uh, your supernatural life. And uh, this will uh, increase the intimacy that uh, you have with Jesus. It'll increase uh, your faith and uh, it'll add to you in so many different dimensions. The second reason I seen the fountain was that uh, Jesus spoke of, of us being uh, a spring uh, of living water within ourselves. And uh, you really like that. Uh, you walk around and uh, you've got this spring of water in you and uh, everywhere you go and uh, whatever you do, uh, you uh, just exude the love of Jesus. It just comes out of you, it just uh, pours out of you. and. Uh, you're just this amazing uh, witness of Jesus. You're an amazing demonstration of uh, who Jesus is. And he's uh, very happy with you. I've got two books, uh, 13 Tips to Becoming uh, the Light of Christ and uh, also Influencing Your World for Christ. So uh, when you see this on video, 
you can uh, rewind the video and listen to the names of these books. And these four books are all integral for you. Um, I feel uh, if you want to uh, grow in your ability to be that fountain, um, uh, oh, that's right, the, the fountain is also, you, you've got more than a spring, it's like this fountain that's within you. It's a uh, huge gushing water. Uh, I feel that the Lord wants to build you from a spring to a fountain where you just gush uh, this Holy Spirit uh, water out uh, to people. I can see uh, the Lord uh, training you up uh, to teach. Uh, I know that uh, you said on YouTube uh, on a comment that uh, you're writing a book, but I can see multiple books uh, being written. I can see God raising you up to be a teacher. I can see God raising you up to be a prophet and a seer. Uh, I can see you uh, being raised up to uh, be uh, someone of influence in your church, someone of influence in your country. Um, I can see uh, God raising you up uh, to be an itinerant speaker, uh, a prolific author. Uh, prolific, I mean, uh, writing a lot and books are really good. Uh, they can really uh, touch people and teach people, uh, but different to a sermon, uh, a book can be reviewed and looked at and uh, it can be marked up and underlined and uh, people can uh, really be touched by a book. And uh, so I can see you uh, writing uh, many books and uh, touching uh, many people's lives. And uh, you could probably look at uh, my 50 odd books and uh, there may be five subjects of my books that uh, you could write, but uh, I sense that uh, the Holy Spirit is going to just use this first book that you're writing just as a launch pad and uh, he's going to uh, use you uh, to teach uh, many things. Uh, I think you could uh, read uh, 13 Tips to Becoming the Light of Christ and Influencing Your World for Christ and I think you could write a book like that, uh, How to Be You, How to uh, Demonstrate Christ Wherever You Go, How to uh, Be that vessel of honour, how, how to be that uh, vessel that touches people's lives uh, with the love and, and the beauty and uh, the compassion of Jesus Christ. Uh, I think that um, you're an extraordinarily uh, beautiful girl and I've seen your picture and you're fairly attractive, but inside uh, you're just full of light, you're just full of Jesus, you just uh, shine with the glory of God and uh, you're just an absolutely beautiful girl and uh and uh jesus really loves you and i really love you and uh and uh, the father really loves you i can see you uh learning uh to uh work with angels and uh command angels and uh, i can see you uh being a great intercessor and a great teacher and a great prophet uh, i can see you having uh, great influence and making great change. I can see you uh, speaking uh, to influential people and uh, being like a mentor and a guide and uh, like a life coach uh, to many people and uh, many uh, different organisations coming to you uh, for spiritual wisdom, spiritual uh, direction and spiritual counsel. Uh, I can see you uh, growing in wisdom uh, growing in knowledge, uh, growing in experience. And uh, I can see you uh, touching and affecting more lives. It's like uh, Jesus has got this blank checkbook and he's just saying, uh, write, write down on this checkbook what you want to do with your life. Do you want to be a singer? Do you want to be a worship leader? Do you want to direct a film? Do you want to act in a film? Uh, do you uh, want to... Uh, be a famous uh, motivational speaker? Do you want to uh, travel the world and bring uh, the church into repentance? Do you want to wake up the church? Do you want to guide the church? Do you, do you want to equip the people of God how to uh, be a living witness and how to witness to everyone that they meet? Uh, what do you want to do? And uh, I feel that he's got this open checkbook and he wants you to get a pad of paper out and uh, specifically like... Uh, Habakkuk says, write down the vision and make it plain. Um, I feel he wants you to write down, and I think I named a lot of the things that you wanted. Uh, write down all those things that you want. Put them on paper. Um, type them out on a computer. Print them up and put them on your wall and say, Jesus says I will be all of these things. 
and uh, meditate on that and uh, gather scriptures around that that support that. And uh, God is going to uh, revolutionize your life and uh, change your life. It would be really good uh, to have you like a spiritual daughter. It'd be really good uh, to be a friend of yours and uh, to be able to interact with you and uh, help you and mentor you a little bit and uh, help you uh, proceed uh, in, in uh, the kingdom and uh, progress uh, in the kingdom of God. There really is uh, nothing that uh, you can't do. Whatever is your deepest dream, whatever are your deepest desires, whatever it is that uh, you want to do uh, to serve God and uh, to make a difference in this world, uh, I feel that, um, uh, that uh, you've got such a relationship with Jesus and uh, he loves you so much that uh, it's like an open ticket. You really haven't got uh, any uh, desires for yourself. You've got uh, no uh, desires for the things of the world. Sure, you dress nice and you buy nice clothes and you've got nice uh, things, but things are meaningless to you and possessions are meaningless to you. And uh, you could take away all your pretty clothes and all your pretty dresses and just give you a drab sort of clothes and you would still be that beautiful person that you are and it just wouldn't change you. And um, God really loves you. And uh, I can say uh, from what I've seen uh, in you uh, through uh, speaking to you prophetically that I really love you and I'd enjoy uh, being a spiritual father to you. Um, uh, and uh, it would be a blessing if you're my age. Uh, you'd uh, be a wonderful person uh, to marry. Um, but, uh, you know, one day I'm going to meet a girl around about my age uh, who's everything that you are, and uh, she's going to be great uh, for me. But uh, I, um, I really uh, love uh, who you are now. Uh, I love uh, your dreams and your desires and your ambitions, and uh, it was a real honour uh, to uh, prophesy over you and uh, just give you a, I suppose, uh, give you a bit of a um, taste, uh, give you a bit of an idea, and uh, possibly just uh, confirmations. Uh, a lot of this may have been just confirmation for you. Um, I give you confirmations of uh, what God thinks of you and uh, where you're headed and uh, what is possible for you. So I pray that uh, this really blesses you, encourages you, lifts your uh, heart up. And I hope you can uh, play this and replay this and uh, be encouraged. And, uh, and uh, you can write to me and uh, give me some feedback. Or you can even, if you've got courage, uh, post uh, underneath uh, this video as a comment and thank me for it. God bless.